Okay, let's talk about deplexer and duplexer in a radio frequency communication system. First of all, what is a deplexer? Basically, a deplexer is a three port device that enables signals of different frequencies to share a common communication channel. For example, there is a signal A of frequency A here. and a signal B of a higher frequency so signal A enters port 1, signal B enters port 2 so what happens is that the deplexer increments frequency multiplexing into a single port to enable this frequency multiplexing the mechanism behind it is that a deplexer consists of filters. There is a low pass filter inside this black box and also a high pass filter. They are combined to the output antenna. As compared with a radio frequency combiner, a deplexer is frequency selective. So only signal of frequency A enter port 1, and signal of frequency B can go through the filter. In another way, when the antenna receives the power, it split into two frequency components. As compared with a splitter, a depressor exactly split the power into specific frequencies, frequency A and frequency B. So in a summary, a depressor is a frequency selective network that increments the frequency multiplexing into a single channel. So next, what is a duplexer? A duplexer is also a three-port passive network. It differs in one character with a depressor. And the functionality is also different. While the depressor is widely used in the communication system, depressor can also be used in the radar system. Basically, a depressor is a three-port device that enables a transmitter and a receiver to share a common antenna, a single channel antenna for two-way communications. It can be thought of as a circulator in which signals from port 1 is routed to port 2 and signal from port 2 is routed to port 3 but there will be no signal exchange from port 1 and port 3 that is called an isolation so the biggest and the most significant feature of duplexer is it provides isolation between transmitter and receiver to enable single antenna two-way communications.
In another words, the receiver is isolated from the transmitted power when a transmitted pass is sent to the antenna. In another way, the transmitter is also isolated from the receiver when the power receiving pass sent to the receiver. So, we can see both depressor and depressor are frequency selective. But a chief difference is that a depressor allows frequencies, close frequency signals for two-way communications. But a depressor requires that signals of different frequencies by a significant percentage for these filters to efficiently sort the frequency components. But a depressor is ideally used for a radar system because it enables frequency of close frequencies to transmit and receive. Consider in a radar system in which the refracted power is of close frequency with the transmitted power. With this circulating mechanism, the power to the receiver will be isolated for the transmitter. So there will be no interference caused by the transmitter or the receiver. And we can characterize a duplexer's performance by its insertion loss. And isolation. insertion loss of a duplexer is defined by minus 10 log P2 over P1. So a low insertion loss ensures that the power transmitted is not compromised. Another significant feature is the isolation is the minus 10 log P3 to P1. So a good isolation is normally minus 70 dB or less. So in the summary, D-plexer and D-plexer, they differ only in one character but their functionalities and working mechanisms are fundamentally different. Both of them are passive three pulse network and they are all frequency selective. But the deplexer requires the frequencies to be differentiated by a significant percentage. While a deplexer allows frequency which are close to be transmitted and received. So a duplexer can be used in a radar system, but a depressor can't use in a radar system. But both of them are widely used in a radio frequency communication system.